Crew TV, and I'm here with my first podcast ever. Um, today we're going to be talking about a couple of subjects, you know, of course, sneakers as always. We're also going to touch on a little bit of sports because, you know, sneakers kind of ties in with sports. Um, but who guys watched that Spurs game last night? Now, I'm not a real big Spurs fan, um, but I respect them. I respect their team. I'm actually, you know, in between San Antonio and Austin, actually closer to San Antonio. But I am not a Spurs fan. I am a Miami Heat fan. Um, but I do respect the organization. I like seeing competition. And um, I flipped on the game yesterday, and I watched LeBron James, right? And LeBron James, you know, is the defending champion from last year. Um, some people can kind of argue that he could only have one ring at this point of his career if Ray Allen didn't hit that three and send it to overtime against the Spurs. And if, you know, Draymond Green wasn't um, suspended during their series with the Cavs that let the Cavs kind of get back in the game. Um, but, you know, he is a great player. He's got his three rings. You cannot take that away from him. But, man, guys, I mean, I can't just not believe that LeBron, of all people, um freaking kind of basically tapped out of the game you know i never think i would see that um it was just crazy um because the Cavs were just getting manhandled and then that happened but you know that's just kind of my discussion what do you guys think about that do you think lebron tapped out i mean i even has been you know i'm a person that's really big into watching um other media outlets to kind of see their opinions on certain subjects and kind of pick their brain and learn from them um even they are kind of like they can't even defend it. And there's a lot of people I know out there that are real big LeBron defenders and stuff like that. So what do you guys think about that? But first things first, let's talk about the sneakers that are releasing this weekend that are kind of big time um, sneakers that I want to talk about. So if you haven't followed my website, go ahead and do so. It's theshoecrew.com. Um, I like to update it with a lot of stuff, not only local in the Central Texas area, but also kind of global too. Um... First things first is the Air Jordan 4 Cause. I mean, these sneakers are the next Hyper Strike um, big release. Now, these sneakers, of course, they've been creating hype. And I haven't wrote an article on it, but I've kind of, you know, just I'll just come out and say it. I think this is the sneaker that Jordan brand is kind of, you know, trying to bring these hype beasts back into kind of like buying their sneakers again. Because Jordans have kind of been sitting on the shelves, as everybody knows. Um, I mean, every market's different, but in this market, just as a lot of other big city markets, the Jordans have just been sitting. My personal reason, I'm not going to pay $190 for a pair of sneakers. I'm just not going to do it. I'd rather go on my local group, find that sneaker down the road, and buy it then. Um, but there are a lot of people, of course, that are just not buying the sneaker at all, you know. Um, and they're only going to buy it, of course, if it's, you know really valuable resale value or whatever um but these cost fours are nearly impossible to get now i think all of the box stores only foot action is getting them and that's the foot action in chicago the only reason why is because they have like a special uh jordan brand store that's like the flagship store and of course it's located in chicago which all due respect why it would be in chicago um there's a lot of also like these boutiques that are kind of like tier zero jordan brand accounts are getting them now as far as central texas now if you live in central texas and you're wondering about these i'm still trying to find out information about if these sneakers will release now nice kicks is basically if you're not from texas nice kicks is our premier uh account here in texas they get basically everything when it comes to nike they are the only store out of all the nice kicks which is in la san francisco and texas of course they're the only nice kicks out of those three the austin one that has a tier zero nike account so they ended up getting the atmos uh air max ones i didn't even know they got those um, but they ended up getting those. As far as their Jordan brand account, I mean, I don't like to get personal and, and ask these personal questions with the employees because usually the employees do not really talk about it. But um, as far as their their Jordan brand account, I'm not really sure. I know, you know, when they first opened, they didn't open with a Jordan brand account. I was always asking them, why don't you guys have a Jordan brand account? Why don't you guys have a Jordan brand account? Um, and then they said they were working on it. it. Takes a while to get approved. I think it finally got approved or whatever. Um, as far as the Jordan brand account, I don't know if they have a tier zero Jordan brand account. I don't really remember in the past of them really having a Jordan brand tier zero account. Um, I think they would. I mean, I don't know. I think I think they might get them. I mean, I think it's a boutique that will probably get them, um, and they should get them. I mean, 
I'm thinking back now, I mean, they've gotten the Just Dawns, they've gotten stuff like that. I mean, Jordan Brand really hasn't been releasing, I would say, shoes that are, like, super limited now these days. Um, I mean, it. Uh, but, you know, other than that, you know, this is a sneaker that is very limited. Uh, if they do release in Central Texas, they're going to release at the Nice Kicks location. Um, that's far yet to be seen because Nice Kicks likes to kind of release their information in the middle of the week or towards the end of the week but hopefully by wednesday um we should hear something or not thursday because the singer releases on friday but i'm thinking at least by tomorrow we would know something i don't know if they are though um but as far as the sneaker goes this is a sneaker you know that a lot of people are getting like have come out publicly saying we're gonna take an l because it, i don't even know i think it might release on the sneakers app i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong I've seen some reports say it's not going to. It's going to only release in Nike stores only. But um, that's what they said about the Yeezys, of course, and the Yeezys released online. So I'm I'm pretty sure it might release online. I'm pretty positive it will. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a dope, dope release. I'm just glad that Jordan Brand's kind of getting the shine it deserves again. Um, as far as the prices, I think this sneaker is retailing for three fifty. It will probably resell for over a thousand to two thousand dollars because this is a very hot release. Cause is a very like a supreme type of brand. They carry their name very well throughout the sneaker community, throughout the culture. Um, the next sneaker that I'm going to talk about is the Air Jordan One Royal. This is basically like that constellation prize for people that will probably miss out on the four. Um, so. A lot of people are going to be gunning towards this sneaker. I know a lot of people will. The motorsports sat, and the reason why is because, I mean, let's be honest, no practical person is going to be paying over $400 or whatever for every sneaker release. Now, Jordan Brand has been releasing sneakers every week, it seems like. So, I mean, any practical person is going to go for one, the Air Jordan 1, which is a classic colorway. It's the royal colorway, the colorway, colorway that we haven't seen release in a GR probably since the OG. So... This is a sneaker that everybody's kind of gunning for. I actually own a pair of Royals. Uh, I bought a pair last year, 2013 version. Um, even that year, man, the the release was very, very limited in that in that in that sense. So um, this is a sneaker, man, that everybody's gonna probably get. Everybody's gonna have it on their feet. Um, and it's a shoe, of course, that's priced at 160. So the resale is gonna be good on that sneaker. So. Definitely look out for that shoe. I really recommend it, guys. I mean, if you're just getting into sneaker collecting, whatever, the Royal One is a must-cop shoe, especially since it just hasn't seen the light of day um, and properly GR released probably since the OG. So this is not a sneaker that you come around and see all the time. Now, the market should be flooded with these. I'm pretty sure everybody in your mom and pop store will have them. If they don't, it's because the demand's so high, but... I can't really see res resale going at least 300 at the highest. I mean, maybe 350 at the rate like rate price, but um that's a sneaker that you really need to grab. It's retailing for 160 if you can. Sign up for the apps at your box stores. If you have a local boutique like an Undefeated or like a premium boutique like a Nice Kicks, what I mean, go ahead and go to there. I'm pretty sure Nice Kicks is going to do a raffle for them. They haven't announced it, which they always like I said, wait for last minute to do. They're going to have a live raffle for them, so if you're in the Austin, San Antonio area, go ahead and check out those locations. I think I counted. There's about 16 stores in total that are going to get these sneakers, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be everywhere, so don't pay stupid resale prices. Um, be patient too, man, because I even let my breads go for like 200 bucks or something like that when I first got them, and I needed to get rid of them because they just, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with them. The market was horrible. Once you wear a shoe, like nobody really wants to pay a great a great price for them. So I was tired of like haggling with people and just sold them for like a fair two hundred dollar price. So I mean that's pretty much a steal. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Um, there's really nothing much else to talk about that I can think of right now. If you guys have anything else, to let me know. I mean, there's other sneakers coming out as well. But um, those are the two sneakers I want to talk about. Of course, the LeBron James situation. That was just like an easy little discussion. If anybody wants to talk about that in the comment section below. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out more of these type of videos. Guys, peace, God bless, and have a nice day.